So for this up and coming week, I think I'm going to take some time away, a little time away from YouTube, um, particularly on this channel, just to focus on different stuff other than just, other than just talking about basketball. I figured the All-Star Weekend would be a, a good place to, you know, take some time away from YouTube and in uh, NBA basketball. Because I don't like it right now. And I think I've been going a little bit too hard on it. Almost becoming obsessive a little. Just a little bit. So I think I'm going to spend the next couple of days away. Not talking about basketball. But I do have some pre-uploaded videos coming out. That I made actually last week. So... There will be some of those videos coming out. But anyways, I want to talk about this whole Clay Thompson being traded to the Lakers thing. I didn't get a chance to actually talk about it last week. So I know some few other people have already talked about this. So according to reports from ESPN, Adrian Wojnarowski, Wojnarowski and Ramona Shelburne and the Golden State Warriors tried to ask for a trade with LeBron James, pair up to Stephen Curry in exchange for Clay Thompson. Well, this has to be one of the, has to ought to be one of the most dumbest ideas I ever heard in my life. The Ghost of Warriors pursued LeBron James had reached out to the Lakers at the dead, deadline. It didn't work. Uh We all know that LeBron James was being a passive aggressive before the trade deadline and everything. Asking for more help and everything. And as far as that trade going down, I don't think it would have worked anyway. It been a same old, same old. Lakers are probably be still the same because I think the Lakers are better when they don't have LeBron James out there playing for them. They look better, but as far as the Golden State Warriors, uh, I sense drama going on. That's all I sense with that. It's just more and more the same. Um, as far as Clay Thompson being on the Lakers, I actually give him an extra shooter, but. The thing that gets me, though, and you know what? I'm starting to think this is just how it is in the NBA. There ain't no loyalty anymore. Because I truly believe that some of these players influence the front office a lot. They push the front office a lot to make moves. And I think that has happened with the late, uh, with LeBron and his teams. I think it has happened with Giannis and this whole Damian Damian Lillard fiasco so far. And they gotta make the superstars happy, and sometimes making the superstars happy is terrible. It gives you terrible results. Uh, we all know that LeBron James. I think it was like two years, a couple years ago. LeBron James was talking about, oh, it'd be cool to play with Stephen Curry. Um, as far as Steph Curry is concerned about this whole thing, uh, it's kind of a snake type of thing, uh, disloyalty type of thing. Uh, Clay Thompson, without well, Clay Thompson, they always try to say, "Oh, well, Michael Jordan never won." Without Scottie Pippen, well, it's the same for Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Steph Curry would never win if Klay Thompson wasn't there. When Klay Thompson was his in his prime, before all the injuries, uh, he was a worthy defender, especially defending the other guards, I mean, the other team's best guards. For example, holding 
Clay, oh not Clay, holding Kyrie Irving in the finals at times and other guards I can't think of the top of my head right now. He was very crucial with that. Um, he always got the Warriors out of a pickle. Uh, Western Conference Finals 2016 against the OKC Thunder. He was big in that. So, trying to trade your boy who's been there for four rings. Six championships all together. You try to trade him for a balding old man? Nah. I, I know it's business. But my estimation of a man... For Steph Curry has plummeted in the recent years. I remember, like, when they when he first started coming on the scene, when he was first been, they made a big deal about him. He was always in the news. Um, they always tried to use that Christian angle with him. But I don't know anymore. I think some of these dudes be, when they get more fans, be selling their soul. And I think Stephen Curry is up there with the rest of these ce celebrities and famous people. But... That's a topic for a different discussion right there. Um, but yeah, I, I think Giannis, LeBron, and now Steph Curry, they all the same. Trading away their boys. Getting rid of their people. So they can get something better. And it probably will never turn out for them. Turn out good for them. I still believe that Drew Holiday should have been kept. Now... If there was a way to keep Drew Holiday and even keep Chris Middleton and still get Damian Lillard, I think this probably would have worked. But that would be a lot of moves mean needed for that to happen. Um, but anyways, back to this situation. Let's just read some of this article right quick. Uh... The Lakers owner made it clear that she does not want to see James go. However, Joe Lakeham was reportedly invited to call James's agent, Rich Paul. It's just a figurehead. Uh, while Lakeham didn't, in fact, make the call, Paul reiterated that the ideal that his client didn't want to make any such move that any trade package that had been prepared by the Warriors was essentially deaf dead in the water. And this article goes on to ask that was Draymond Green a broker in the deal? One interesting aspect of what transpired was the role that the Warriors star Draymond Green played. As for reports, Lakeham wasn't simply acting on the belief that James was unsettled due to his crypto post. They going back to that damn crypto post. Um, with the time that he posted on Twitter back in late January. But January, but also on the back of advice that he received from a member of the Warriors roster, Draymond Green. And you know, Draymond Green is one of LeBron James's booze, so um, I wouldn't doubt that Draymond Green had a little bit of influence with that one. But even this move, like I said, this move wouldn't have made it the Warriors better. Now you got one person that don't really play defense. Um, but at this point in time, I guess, came, you know, in their eyes, they really can't get anything out of Clay Thompson. But Clay Thompson did make a um, non-selfish move, from what I heard, by coming off the bench. Now, I think he came off the bench against Utah. So that helped. Uh, but, yeah, as far as Clay is concerned, I ain't going to lie. He does look slower. Them injuries really got the best of him. Uh, I heard he's supposed to be a free agent by the end of the season. I don't know what the free agent market looks for him. For somebody who is now, I think, how old is Clay Thompson right quick? Has he turned 35 yet? No, not 35. 34 yet? Got a year ahead of myself. One time, some dude came on my channel and said, It's bad to do research while you're doing the video. Shut up! Do what I want. Uh, yeah, Clay Thompson turned 34 a couple weeks ago on February 8th. So I don't know what it's supposed to look for a uh, 
player who's declining like he is, age 34 on the free agent market. Um, I think at best, spot up shooter off the bench. Maybe, maybe when things get tight, if they, his team, the new team he goes to, goes to the playoffs, maybe he can be uh, inserted into the game because the pace does lower during the playoffs. Where uh, it's always good when the pace uh, lowers in the playoffs, especially for the older guys. But um, yeah, who knows where he goes to? I think the Lakers are reported anyway to be interested in the free agency. I don't know about any other teams at this point. But yeah, if I was, well, I guess I didn't watch the game, but I guess there was a time when Steph Curry tried to shake Clay Thompson's hand. He just walked right past him. So I think things have been severed due to that coming out. Or shoot, he probably heard about it before we did. So um, in my opinion, with everything that has gone on with the Warriors in the last, since they won that championship, Jordan Poole getting knocked out by Draymond. Draymond and his antics. And now this uh, proposed trade for him. I can sense that Klay Thompson is probably walking away from the Warriors and spent his last couple of years with a different team. But that's just my opinion. But this whole thing, uh, yeah, it sounds like a snake move. It does sound like a heartbreaking move for Klay Thompson, but... That's pretty much the life of the NBA, but, yeah, Stephen Curry ain't that far away from LeBron James when it comes to that. Like it or not, both fan bases, I don't care. You can scream, you can whine, you can try to insult me on here, call me all kinds of names, but that just shows you what your mentality is and how that is. Because some of y'all get so caught up, famous people. That you guys have lost your minds. But anyways, I'm done.